ongoing story about Iran is that the Biden administration seems to be committed, uh, you know, deeply committed, not just deeply committed, uh, to keep the money flowing to Iran, to keep Iran uh, well-funded so that Iran, I guess, can fund the terrorists, so that Israel can destroy the terrorists, so the United States can give money to Israel and then give more money to Iran to fund to the terrorists. Israel I don't know. Maybe the United States has kind of deal with Iran, where Iran keeps the Hezbollah reined in and Iran doesn't attack Israel directly. And in return, the United States uh, will send them billions and billions and billions of dollars. But it does, it does seem like the United States is clearly committed to um, the well-being of Iranian finances. The Biden administration is um, loosening or, or talking about loosening its, uh, you know, uh, restrictions on Iranian uh, export of oil, a, a source of anywhere from 32 to 35 uh, uh, billion dollars, right? Uh, uh, since, uh, since President Biden took office, Iran has brought in an additional 32 to 35 billion dollars uh, because of oil exports and the high price of oil. Uh, the United States is, 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 should be enforcing the law and, and, and the sanctions that they have, which means going after banks, purchases, insurers, tankers, ports, and anybody who facilitates the trade in Iranian oil. And yet, uh, yet the United States is not. It is allowing the trade in oil for the Iranians to continue, partially out of the fear, I guess, that oil prices will go up and inflation will rise and, and people will feel bad and then they won't like Biden and then they'll vote him out. And but this is, this is so horrific and this has been going on forever. We keep uh, appeasing our enemy. We keep uh, funding our enemy. I mean, the Obama administration was the first ad administration uh, to engage in this to the Trump administration's credit. They walked away from the Iranian nuclear deal, which was basically uh, uh, funding Iran by, by, by huge numbers. Uh, and, it, you know, Obama had basically opened up the spigots for the Iranian economy to flourish. Uh, Trump walked away from it, but didn't completely and didn't bring the allies away, uh, you know, with him so that Iran only faced some sanctions. Biden has, has, has retracted even more of those sanctions. Um, it, it's just a, a, an unmitigated disaster, and it goes, it goes back to the idea that I've been talking about forever, that the United States has no foreign policy, has no coherent strategy about how to deal with its enemies or, or have any concept of defining those enemies and actually going after them and doing anything about them. So... Um, It is, it, it, it is so immoral and irrational. Um, and if only the Republicans had a candidate that you could vote for to replace this idiot in the White House. I mean, he's not even an idiot anymore. He's just clueless. And, and of course, uh, his State Department, which is... Uh, manned uh, with, with anti-American, anti-Israeli uh, uh, cadres, uh, which, are, which are, you know, they're, they're permanent bureaucrats. So they were there, they've been there for a long time and they, they will continue to be there until they're replaced. Uh, you know, it's just, you know, pro-Iranian State Department that is basically continuously supports uh, the Iranian regime and its and, and by by implication supports the Iranian regime support for terror organizations. This administration is horrific and is destructive to American interests and destructive to Israeli interests, and it should go as quickly as possible. But notice that nobody's talking about this. Nobody cares. Nobody actually criticizes them for the things that they do on, on the merits of it. They're far too busy investigating all kinds of BS other things. Um, and the fact that they're undermining American national security, 
the fact that they're supporting our enemies, n nobody cares uh, because that's not an issue anybody wants to raise. So, I mean, it would be nice if there was an opposition party in America who actually went after the uh, party in power, particularly when that party in power was constantly, systematically undermining the interest of the United States. It, it would be kind of cool to have a, um, a two-party system instead of a system that has one party and then another party that's completely uh, dysfunctional and irrelevant and, uh, and navel-gazing and obsessed with a, uh, with a narcissistic idiot uh, and, and going to position him, uh, uh, idiot is too nice a word, moron, and going to position him as, as the, the leader of the party and its candidate for presidency. Go figure.